Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. It's game five, ready for action as Cleveland Cavaliers face on against the Milwaukee Bucks. This is a going to be another whopping game as we have another one of this primetime edition here on Saturday. This is happening here on the NBA playoffs to whop things on the board. Of course there is, but there is, might be another changeup to make a slop angle. Right now, Milwaukee Bucks are in a leading series of 3-1 over Cleveland. Next one could be the uh, winner for Milwaukee Bucks if they win over Cavs. If they don't win, then that means that Cavaliers are trying to fix things up and they might be going back the other way. Well, this is going to be a win or go home for Cleveland. And the advance or, or keep playing in the first round field for Milwaukee Bucks to advance the winning team of of the of the second to face against the Boston Celtics. So there's a chance if there we have anything left to go behind. So we'll guess we'll have to see what happens. If there's a choice here for Milwaukee Bucks and the team of the Cavaliers that can be ready for everything that we like to do. So with that Let's get to the game and start the presentation of the NBA playoffs in the Eastern Conference. So, let's get rowdy! Game 5 at Pfizer Forum. Here we come! And his starting lineups is already occurring big here as Giannis on the Kupo and the teammates are ready to begin the action. It's up next after this. And we are happy to have you with us here today. So this is where the court is about to rise things up in game five for the statement. And right now, Allie LaForce is on the sideline. Take it away. Thanks so much, VA. Guys, Giannis trying to keep his edge. He doesn't want to train with other superstars in the summer. He said, quote, my competitive nature is so high. I can't do it. I just know myself. I want to just play for 20 years and then make friendships at the end. Guys? Now, old school familiar guy. Thank you. The lineups are currently on the board as Giannis Antetokounmpo face up against Laurie Mackinnon. Morganen, I meant. Well, don't be freaked out anyway. Drew Holiday and Darius Garland is the key matchup in the point guard. Then across from here is Chris Middleton. And the other side of it, we have is J.B. Bickerstaff, the second season with the Cleveland Cavaliers head coach. Yeah, we, we talked about that one before because now we know it's for the series. It can start anything like they do before. The tip off of the ball is good, and we are starting things off. Game five, fueled up and ready to go. Here's on a only scored his scoring drop. He is on a dominant run that he has always been knocking the players down in game four. Yeah, this is what never happens because of all that. All the strength that they have and required is was all that they did. This play was just nowhere to get by it. Wow! On to the Kupo! He is a slam and he goes for the first block of the night. And you're telling me that the Greek Freak has already got him up here. They have it all won. First rebounding and it goes back in is Evan Mobley. But that was a great defense here, the fear of deer of Anacupo. Middleton right to Allen. Backing over is Holiday. Holiday right back to Middleton. Over again. First two drive for Middleton is good. And it's now tied up 2-2. Two -two. This only turns out to be a whackable run of the series. This is all they have. And the first foul is called by Chris Milton in his first team, his first personal first team foul. Reaches up here and this is not going to be a great day for him to give it a start for the, for the Bucks. Now it will be Okoro heading to the free throw line to shoot two. 
Now this only happens to be if there is another way to get right around it. Those two is not the only option, but they really need to uh, be hyped up here and be ready to take the to take it in control. First free throw is good for Okoro. And Chris Middleton, without his uh, confusion that he wants to get right from it, he now really wants them all and wanted to try to work things in the tackling muscle like he does it before. And for sometimes, he really wants to have it. Second free throw for Okoro is good. Holiday with the ball. He moves it up. Now he will help the players here on offense to give it another shot. He finds Middleton with a three. Taking the rim too short, and it's Mobley with the rebound. Levert in the pursuit. Rebound and is off by Porter's Jr. Porter's Jr. receiving his first rebound after tonight. And Holiday. Oh, got a little, got a little weird step here, and that won't go in. Yeah, why is the defenseman all, all better at that point? Well, because of what they did here, they have it all in front. That's because of the uh, players on offense getting a hard time. Morgan and can't make the two. Anadokounmpo, back to Allen. Pulls back to Anadokounmpo. He pushes over to Holiday. Free for Middleton. Good on the outside triple range. And Trill Holiday with the assist. They've got a first three pointers out there. They got some higher average. They're looking for someone to give in there. Liver over Allen. Rebounded by Anna Nakumbo. Now he pushes over to Allen. Back to Anna Kubo, right to Portis Jr. Moves it over to Holiday. He moves back to Portis Jr. The Milwaukee Bucks are moving the ball quickly around, right from in between. They do always, they really have, they really want to move things around because there's a steal. Well, that's because the Cleveland would have that one. Two minutes in the first period, steal by Portis Jr. And the attack he comes! Drew Holiday delivers the dunk. And the first timeout is called by Cleveland Cavaliers. What a way to make a start out there. This dunk is just man oh man. They just started it. That's what they have done here so far. To get right on the road and be out for anything. Changes for released here on Milwaukee and for Cleveland. As Stevens has checked in with uh, with with the other teams, Low, Brown, and Osmond. And the other changeup, Allen and Portis Jr. checked out. Mac Connington and Brooke Lopez are checked in. Moves to Brown, and Brown takes the Over first for bucket to take it for here. That's because of Brown, they have um, they have some only only man advantage that he has. So now this could be his first one to give it a to give it a whirl. Finding on a Cooper with a bad pass by Brooke Lopez. Here comes Garland, rejected by Anna Cooper. That's a second block. That's a great team. Look at that. That Greek freak is not losing his losing his time. No comparison between the Greek Freak or the Fear Freak. And it's Connaughton with the bucket, and he has his first bucket. It's out of bounds. It turns over into Bucks ball. And a terrific mobile one block by Giannis, the Greek Freak, by the Kumpo. Giannis is like the only man he wants to step things up. With all it being said to him, well, you know, this average is only like a kill out, like you did here before. Here's on the Kumpo. He goes inside, whips it through, and the dunk is all on him. Giannis on the Kumpo, look at that. After 
Dr. Plot, now he slams the darkness, and now this can be for him on staying confident. Steady Osman, right to love. He inside the middle. Oh, the roll pass. Oh, the putback! That brow drive is going back and crazy insane. I don't know what to say about that one because where there is there's some great defenders that are not that are not holding the defensive and trying to hold it back. But this average of our offense was like all he had. On a Kupo, a little weird off, but he still has it all. Now he has his second bucket of the game. 13 to 8 is the score. Cleveland trail by five. 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Move straight to Middleton. 10 seconds left. They're moving the ball quickly around. Lopez. And free. Connaughton. Oh, he made it! What a stunning run for Pat Connaughton. And it's Holiday with the assist. Nice job there, Bucks. They got a great average here to start things off. Now it's 16 to 8. The Bucks lead by 8. And we'll be right back with the second quarter coming up after this message. Now it's all set here for the second quarter. As all with this advantage that he has for Ida Kupo, he gives his team what he wants to think about and he wants to like go for it. The round is not the only way to make him pay, but the only himself that wants to go right through him, he really wants to get right to, uh, to work. Bucks lead by five. Noora sends over to Connaughton. The screen coming is rejected off. Bounce pass to Holiday. Now he overhead passes to Anakupo. Over Love. Once again, Anakupo can't hit the two. Now he moves to Stevens. Osmond with nobody around. That's a great open look. Assist goes to Lamar Stevens. Stevens has his assist down, and now it's Connaughton with the ball. And Anakupo, look out! It's a number dunk for Anakupo. Six points and a great three. And timeout called by Cleveland, Ohio, of the Cavs. They showed their results. What they did here was just a big up bang. That's what they've done before. Now, if not, without going with the 3-2-3 three, three zone, they will have to start going back to man-to-man -man that they have. They're going to need to try to fix something up here if there's another chance. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is presented by Express. Dress like a pro. Also, with another amazing on one attempt, it all turns out what they have here, and because of what they have, the players have done, they also have some higher ranking stats. And for this game, it's all they have here. Just like the Bucks did. Of course they always do, but moment at that time they really need to like keep it right in the, in the paint. Now they need to uh, know that they gotta get some average numbers here to get right through it. And if they don't have enough, well, they're gonna need to try to fix things on here on offense to go right in the uh, different timing. And right now, Holiday delivers up to Ibaka. Marketing on him. And Ibaka, look at that play drive. He doesn't want to get wrapped around here. He wants to, he wants to muff on, he wants to take the uh, broken, the broken ankles here and mark it in. Well, he's not afraid to get broken already. He wasn't going to let this happen. Levert can't hit the two. Now Ibaka. Moves it over to Holiday. Ibaka has the screen. Holiday! Slam dunk! 
Another one goes in the paint, and he's a tanker killer. Just like Anakumpo. They really know that one. Trevon is just a kill out resourcing, and he does it for all. Mobley. Back to marketing. And three, no open here where nobody is on him. Morgan makes a three. It's now coming back in here and nobody is taking over it. Well, the man's really know they were in squeezing it tight. Now this is all what happened to him and they really wanted to stop the pressure. Now they have it all ranked out. Ibaka can't hit the two. Marketing gets another rebound as Rondo takes it back. In coming in the paint. And the jump is pulled up. This is going up here in between the in between the attack zones again and again. I always think about that one because what they did here, they have it all knocking in in the playoff. Holiday right to Noah. Six to pocket. Holiday in the paint. Regoing the direction. Well, number two for Holiday, it's 18 for the season. Just like that, he's really going right in for it. Levert, walking in again, and a three-pointer can't aim it to go. Portis Jr. with two rebounds, they lead up by four. He just stopped to Holiday. Back to over is Allen. Allen moves back to Portis Jr. Five down the shot clock. Holiday. In the pursuit. He does it again. Eight points in the game. Now they lead. Extend the lead by six. Rondo versus off to LeVert. LeVert on Allen. Inside he goes. And number two breaks up. And the other defensive breakdown is giving trouble. Looks like nobody is getting, everybody's getting confused here when they're covering the man's here because they don't want to get swapped up already. They really want to find a man and get right on them. That's all they need to do. Good feed off to Allen and a good pass by Holiday. He finally has his first bucket for Allen. It's now a 28-22 ball game. Rondo, marketing for three. Another triple is good, and it's now coming back in by three. Allen with the ball. 20 seconds left. Moves over to Holiday. They're all chanting, let's go, Bucks, go, in this moment. Ibaka right to Noah. Fade off. Push it back again. Noah gets his first bucket. They just really got some great status out there. They are looking for it. The first half is closed. 30 to 25 is the score, and Milwaukee leads by five. Those teams are doing a very good job out there. Well, as they are now, they'll get some hydration, and they'll be back for the second half to start the third quarter. We'll be right back after this. It's time now to check out the first half recap for the Bucks and Cavaliers. A little defensive breakdown, but let's uh, let's give a quick look here and see how well they did. First half is updated. And that's going to wrap it up for the halftime report. Time to send you down back to Pfizer.com to start the third quarter. And glad you make us here today as we're about to start here for the third quarter. Now it's the time to make this thing rise again for 30 to 25 lead for Milwaukee. True Holiday only has gotten a great communication out there. That's the player point guard. But there might be some average skills that they wanted to get right for it. Well, I know that Drew Holiday was going to uh, pick him up a little more. But now what my suggestion is, it can be very tricky for them to keep an eye on. Lord on Allen, going inside. The paint. 
Going on outside. He fishes off to McCool. A free pointer drive connects. It's now down to two. And it's only Milwaukee trying to like keep the attacker again and try to just help them bring it back. Holiday back to Milton. He finds Ida Kumpo. Double man on him. No, Alley for three. Good with a triple. Ida Kumpo with the assist and almost took the ball away for the Cleveland Cubs. They just stopped it. They really like to push it back again. They have it all. Oh my goodness, Ida Kumpo! Wow! The unicorn is like flying all over everywhere. Allen back to Ida Kumpo. And the poop and try scores for Ida Kumpo. He's got three blocks in this game. It's a remarkable play that he's ever done before. Yeah, I know. This is was the best uh, best pursuit that he has all been turning out. What a nice drive effort and play of this uh, of this internal of defense and offense. After the block, puts up here on Bobby Portis Jr. Here's Holiday. Moves it quickly to Allen. Five them out of pocket. Almost tipped off. And he lost the ball, it's out of bounds, and it's Cavs going the other way. Just a tremendous mobile one block by Ayana Kumpo. What a stopping save. All it turned out was this one. His hand didn't go right from the chest. He went from sideways, and he really on. Just about 3.15 left here in the third quarter. Garland up against Wesley Matthews. This is off to Osman. Osman looking over Brown, and he's fouled in and out. Brooke Lopez with the foul. Yeah, that was too much for them. You can't let the man get right through it because that is going to be too much to put up here for defensemen. Two shots coming for Brown as this will be stop the clock at 3.02 to go. First free throws, good for Brown. Brown really knows he might be all over the place. Smith says, what are you thinking right now? Why are the players are not looking for Brown? They got to go right through it. Well, it's because of what happens here. They really need to step it up. They need to rise it because they don't want them to hear them going loud at that time. Cleveland drove by five. On a group goal. Rules back the other way. Finds Connaughton, what a feed by Anna Kumpo. And Pat Connaughton delivers the slam and dunk. That was just an amazing, amazing work of offense skills. Seven points for Connaughton, and now Osman goes back the other way. Pushes off to Brown. Backing over is Garwin. Inside the range, free for Osman. That's good on the triple. Number three pointer for Cleveland, and they're now down by four. Ana Kupo's got three assists here, three rebounds. Now they need to find something else to go for. Now he moves back to Connaughton. Moves back to Matthews. Five on the clock. Stepping up. Made it again. Rebounded by Brooke, and this calls a loose ball on Ida Kupo. Wow, that's not good. That is not good because a loose ball was already picked up a first team foul on Milwaukee, and that was not good because what happened already? It went ball badly. We're under two minutes in the third quarter. Garland outside. Love nobody around him, and now they're down by three. Down by two, I mean. 
moves back to Middleton. Middleton back to Connaughton. Hop over head pass by Middleton. He just took the ball away. He wasn't even ready. Middleton on Osmond. Osmond still holding the ball. Love on Connaughton. Six to pocket. Garland on Matthews. And he reaches a call with the foul with only with only one one twelve left to go. He could have just got it in time, but it looks like the dribbling was too much here, and he didn't really get get there in time. Because all that happened was that Wesley Matthews had a little issue. Garland in the corner. Stevens on a wing. Moves it over to Osmond. Screen on love. Two to shoot. Bobley short. And reflectors and uh, fighting rebound continues. Wesley Matthews Gives it off to Serge Ibaka. Moves back to Ibaka. Matthews for three. Another miss by Milwaukee. They really have no chance. They have no chance to go through. That's all because of what they did here and didn't really want to go back to try to, uh, to, try to help them out. Matthews to Ibaka. Moves it quickly back to Middleton. 20 seconds to play in the third quarter. Lopez with the screen. Driving front. Good on the attacker in the paint. Wesley Matthews got his first bucket in the fifth game. Now they know we're talking. Garland with a three. Good on a triple. It's now a two point score. Two point trail. Connaughton, can he deliver it again? No, he does not. Only the first half gives up on the second quarter. It's 39 to 37. Now he only has one quarter left. The fourth quarter. It will be up after the break. And a chance now to show you the assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the key for this part that, that the most players have it all in depth in mind is was all the players for the Bucks. They all have called it for Pat Connaughton to make the free for buzz beater. And this all really knows it's turned out to be just like they did. Now they got the average. Now they're looking for another one. They're ready to go for it. And now this is the last quarter to bring things up here as Holiday and the teammates are ready to go. Double man finds Middleton. Open feed and then passes on Horace Jr. Middleton has got seven points. It's now 41-37 lead. Okoro on Middleton. Back to the hurt. Oh, almost got a almost got a foul on here, but it was going to be very too soon to get there. Holiday, great feed by Portis Jr. And it's Holiday, ten points. They really got some good status out there. They're just going right in between the zones. Garland, over Porter's Jr., does it again. And rejected by Porter's Jr. Now the new changes are being occurred as Norway is checked in for Ibaka. Now he moves to Garland in the corner. Pocket six. Garland up. The two-pointer can't connect for Cleveland. Middleton. Switched off to Portis Jr. Double man trying to avoid him. Moves over back to Allen. Back to Holiday. Six to shoot. Grab around shot scores for Portis Jr. First bucket and it's Allen with the assist. Great speed. I like the hustle of this work that because of Portis Jr., he knows his secret. Marketing replies another three-pointer. You're down by five. 
Yeah, watch out because the bartender is already streaking. Now you need to try to like hold the man on him to knock it out. Allen sweeps it through back to Middleton. Middleton right to Portis Jr. Finding a man out there. Holiday for three. Can't get it to go. It's another missed three-pointer opportunity for Milwaukee. Marginan in the corner. Back to Levert. Levert over Allen. Another miss by Cleveland. This is going all over the place because with Levert and the teammates, he only has two, but he doesn't have anything else to go for. He is just knocking down too much. Allen switches off to Middleton. Six on the shot clock. Oh, and lost the ball. The steal gives up on Cleveland. Okoro right to Millbley. This is off to Levert. And Okoro finishes the drive. Timeout called by Milwaukee. With only 2.12 to go. Yeah, well, 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 this is going to be a very bad angle for, for Milwaukee because what they've done now, they really have no patience. And because of how the uh, other players did really well, he has another, uh, another average out there. They could be going big here for tonight. And if you're tuning in for the, for the last game, we got the Western Conference coming up. It will be the, the match-off in between the Timberwolves and the Grizzlies in Game 5. There might be a finishing up here, but there might be some other average that could be better to try to, like, get right through it. Now, as I uh, make some substitutions here, there'll be some new changes here for offense to pick up here for the Bucks. New group substitution, and checking out the New Balance player of the game. This goes to Darius Garland. Darius Garland only has two, but he only has, has some rebounds here, and only the assist that does turn out. I know he didn't give up on any points that he was going for, but he only just had two. Boris Jr. Open over again. And Anacopo helps him out to rebound the ball. Under two minutes left. And an offensive three-second call is on Boris Jr. Yes, they didn't do much that time because what happened here, it was badly. That turned out to be the worst. The second to last time I called by Cleveland, and we're under two minutes left here to play for the fourth quarter. We'll be right back after this. It's a tight game between Cleveland and Milwaukee. The timeout has already been called out, and now they both have timeouts, one timeouts remaining. Next one will go from here. Marketing, he got it all! He ties the game, and it's now a 45 game. This also rebound is picking up the transition that they want. Now they really want it. On a group go up, two point connects. And he has another point as average. It's 10 points behind Marketing, four points. Levert on Allen. Try to get him a little squeeze off. We're getting bad pass connects. We're just shooting it right to Holiday. Moves over to Allen. Back to Holiday. Three for Middleton. Good to go! And they are leading it a crease up by five. Wow, the Bucks teams are going wild. The craziness is all over the place. And oh boy, a bad pass. And only steals gives up for three for Milwaukee. And six blocks has occurred. They only added another one to get right by it. Last minute left for the fourth quarter. Here's Holiday. In a bad angle. And it's now Garland with the steal. Levert, outside, three-pointer, in and out. Holiday with the ball. This is off to Mal Milton. Now up to Allen. He spin moves across, drives inside, and he's fouled. Here's Levert, 
takes his first personal. And our first team foul calls on Cleveland. Only 34 seconds left between the game clock and shot clock. And now it's Allen heading to the free throw line, shooting two. He might be going for him number one if he can take seven points. The first one connects. And Allen is already like uh, like on his way to pursue his run. I think their team is ready for the next round to face against Boston. And a second free throw for Allen is good. Seven points for Allen. Only coming down to 30 seconds. Lover in pursuit, looking for his teammate. Marking in for three. Get that guy in. This pointer is starting to be added down by two. And a foul is on low. They always know that they really have it all. They wanted to steal it, but there is no option. Because now this is all that turned out to be just it for Milwaukee to finish the night. Drops in. One shot left to give him for the free throw. And a second free throw drops it in. Final timeout called by Cleveland. The Bucks are really insane. They're like fearing the deer. So they're like all wild out there. They really like to uh, suit their run and be ready on the lookout. changes back to be on offense. Okoro, marketing, takes a close up range. It's only a two pointer average, but this winds up to be only a number two point, and he's fouled by Kevin Love. Yeah, Kevin Love, he's really, he's done right now. His season is already over, and it's Portis Jr. heading to the free throw line to shoot two. No fouls on the Bucks. Only gives up here for just two, that was Portis Jr. And sometimes the Allen is picked up his way on the foul. Even Wesley Matthews. First free throw knocks it in. Good contact throws. There are two free throws in each. Now Levert. 15 seconds left. Allen. Okoro. Three. Good. They are still getting there and in shape. They really need to go fight for it. And a foul is picked up on Okoro. Their fourth team foul and first foul. This is it. This all happens, and now it's Middleton's turn to hit the free throw line to shoot two. And 
First free throw hits. Milton's on a roll. He's got to go for it. And the second one is dropped in. 12 points for Middleton. 7 seconds. 5 seconds. Free for LeBurk. No good! Bucks are going to the second round. They win in the series 4-1. to one. And this was a crush out. Right over the Cavs. That was an astonishing run. They have it all broken out there in the game. What a game. I know. Without the plays, they all enjoyed it. Now, sending over his alley, finishing off. Hard fought win for you tonight. What gave you the advantage? I think we just uh, stick in our game plan, uh, move the ball. Uh, as I said, move the ball offensively. The hard defense, that's why we were able to uh, keep our composure and uh, win the game. Well, that composure will certainly play off come postseason. Thanks, Giannis. Giannis is a tough make-out player, also including the three blocks of this game. They are all in this together. They are moving on to the second round to play against the Boston Celtics, the third team seed in Eastern Conference. Yeah, that's true because they now know they got some average here since they have already met here back in 2K21. But now this might be another time to get started, and right through here, they're ready for everything. So it's time for free star players of the game. Starting off, number three, Son of Beast. All right, son. So I got some good average here with the status here. I'll give it a go. Number three, we have is the only uh, player that does turn out to be the most of it is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Twelve points, five rebounds, three assists. One steal and a tremendous three blocks here performed. That's only three in a row. Helps him make everything. Also hitting on the boards there too. He's walking on away just like he did with two dunks. And now let's have your take here, Mifon, for number two. The Greek freak, his name has gone by. Number two, we have is Chris Middleton. 12 points, three rebounds. Only turned out to be just like that. But only the three point averages, it's two out of three, four out of five field goals. Twelve performance run, only one foul was given. But he's not for the long, but he might be ready for a next challenge to face off against the second opponent in the second round. And then for number one, Son of Beast, your take. Well, this all happens. A lot of points, it was so much average. This all was turned out to be going for Laurie Markkinen. 21 points, 3 rebounds, and just 2 dunks. He's only on a streak, but it looks like that Laurie Markkinen will have to stick around for next season and get ready for a next action for our next team opponents in regular season. Well, that concludes today with the Eastern Conference matchup, and we only have one more left that will be heading in Game 6. It will be the Bulls and the Sixers. Along with the other teams, they already got just made their way down, and there could be another change up here. Now we're waiting for Miami Heat to play against the winning team in between the 4th and 5th seed. So, there might be somebody nearby that could go for it all. So, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Stay tuned for the next game, as we will be heading towards tomorrow of the Sixers and the Bulls. So, thank you for watching. And until next time, peace out everyone for as well as the NBA playoffs of the NBA 2K22 dial. Me, me phone, and Son of Beast are gone. Have a good night and fearing the deer of Milwaukee. Didn't you know? Somebody